now we're going to do local tonification of the defensive key. This is very good for stiff shoulders due to uh, cold. And in this type of situation, it's very important not to needle deeply and to keep the hands warm and soft when palpating these hard areas. In this particular case, again, we use contact needling. So, it doesn't matter how stiff the shoulders are, we still keep the stimulation very, very gentle. So rather than trying to disperse the stiff areas, we're trying to melt them down with this warmth that we're gradually putting through the needle into the patient's tough, hard, cold areas. This is the touch needling performed slowly and now we're going to speed up. Here we go. Two, three. Notice especially the left hand. The left hand is very, very important in this. This is the thing that clamps the needle and keeps it firmly in place. Another method we can also use with this is the skin needling that we saw before. And in this case, it's important to keep it very, very light and also keep the vibration at quite a high rate to give a fine, warm movement. Notice at the same time, we don't always prick the skin continuously. We give a mixture of stimulation by pushing the thumb and forefinger in or out. And in this case, you can see that there's a variety of stimulation with the fingers and also the needle. So one with the needle, one with the fingers, one with the needle, one with the fingers, one with the needle, one with the fingers. And this is continued in a fast, regular fashion. I'll just show you again slowly. This is how it looks in practice. This is absolutely first class for people that have chilled, hard shoulders that don't respond to normal dispersive needling.